So I thought I'd just give you a shot of what the campground looks like. Nice little place. Of course I wouldn't. Here's another one of those uh, little cabins. Guess you can rent those. Got a little view there. So you can see there's not many people here today, but uh, this would be a nice place to come in probably October, even November, I would say. If you really wanted to get some cold weather, you know, come in December or January, and uh, boy, it'd be really nice staying here, especially since you got the, the nice bathrooms and everything. All right. So here we are. You know, it's not all about hiking. There's uh, always stuff to see. So you can pause it there if you want to read about the, the Torah tree. Here's the, here's the house. We're going to go up there. I'm going to see if I can get inside. We'll see what happens. So the house is closed because of COVID-19. But I just, I mean, I want you to think about the money <laughs> to live in this place, you know, once upon a time. And then let's just swing around here to have this view out of the out of the windows of the house. Truly money can buy you happiness. <laughs> but check that out. Oh, isn't that beautiful? No, there's a lot of good hiking trails. We're gonna hit hit here on the way back. I'm gonna leave tomorrow. But uh, on the way back I'm gonna stop back in here. Hopefully it'll be well, it could be as much as a month from now, and uh, the weather will be a lot better. And uh, maybe they'll even have this. By the way, that one trail, <laughs> I didn't realize it dead ended. That's, that's where it dead ended, was at the waterfall. There used to be a lookout there, but you saw that tree that, that uh, took out the, uh, the lookout area. So that's why uh, I, I couldn't go no further. I thought I was lost. But uh, yeah, I'm just out riding the bike, uh, checking stuff out. We're gonna hike up. There's a primitive camping area. I'm gonna go look at that next. I uh, got a big hill to climb up with the bike to get out of here. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm working some of that fat off, you know? So anyway, but yeah, if you ever wanna visit a place in Florida, I recommend this state park. I mean, it's uh, it's the highest elevation. Um, some really nice hikes. They're, they're clearing the trails. You know, you saw it was it's crazy this time of year, but uh, I imagine by October or November, it's gonna be really nice, really good hiking. Talk to you soon. So this is, uh, let's just tilt it this way. There we go. Well, that probably might not work. But anyway, so this is pretty cool. I mean, you know, we did have a, a portion of the war take place here on here in Florida. And I'm always, I'm a big history buff. Uh, you know, of course I, I grew up in Lynchburg, Virginia. That's where Lee was trying to retreat to before he got trapped in Appomattox by Grant. You know, the, course all that history is being erased now by by uh well i by stupid people in my opinion but um anyway don't want to get political about that but this would be pretty cool this would probably be a fun hike when uh when we're coming back through so anyway boy now here's a luxury you don't see a cooled water fountain that actually works here at the tory house check it out isn't that <laughs> I've never, never seen a water fountain kind of tucked away in a little, little room. I wonder what that room was for. I see that little grate down there at the bottom. It'd be a question for if the place was open that I would certainly ask. So anyway, just kind of showing you around. Pretty cool. Well, we're winding down on our stay here. Well, I, I should have taken some pictures of the sunset. It was beautiful. But, I do recommend this park. Uh, just don't, <laughs> don't, don't come in September. Oh my God! I it was hot today. I and I hiked as much as I could and took as much video as I could. So you're gonna see. I I got bit a few times uh, from scratching during the video. That's the reason why. Cars all loaded. I you know repacked everything. Just rethought things. Moved some stuff around in my bags and whatnot. Um, I just, uh, I would stay. I mean, it's, it hasn't been horrible, the, the heat, but uh, I'm rolling the dice. I mean, it's, they're saying 70% chance of rain tomorrow and 70% the next day. And, 
you can't you can't pack up your camp in the rain so if i do get wet you know i i i may end up throwing the stuff in the car wet but i'm not going to be out here in the rain taking down the tent and doing what i got to do so i'm hoping for some dry weather in the morning and we'll just uh just get out of here as quick as we can i will come back uh because you know i'll be back this way what in, in a month so we'll see what happens you know once again bug biting on me uh, i got bit a couple times by ants there's ants around here um you know once i put that bug netting on i don't have to worry about that um so right now it's it hasn't been completely necessary although i'm going to tell you they're they're still out i had a little ice left in this cooler which is cool so i got some pop down in there and beer or two so i don't have to go running over to the the big cooler speaking of the big cooler what a success story i mean that ice it's not melting <laughs> i mean it's 95 degrees and it's not melting i mean i've got maybe this much more room in the cooler and and so i can't i can't put stuff in there that's the whole purpose and but i don't want to get rid of ice because i you know i need that ice to last a couple more weeks um cars still in great shape you know we had a dusty road here so it's uh, it's it's filthy with dust uh but not too bad and uh bug strikes have been minimal so far so but i get i imagine going up through alabama to bankhead that's where i'm heading next bankhead national forest i'm hoping for some better weather when i get there i mean i i don't know i don't know what the elevation of bankhead is um it's, it, i'm certainly it's certainly better than here <laughs> i'm only 400 feet above sea level and this is the highest place in florida i mean i don't know if the sea levels rise i think most of florida is going to be underwater so well i and i'm just i tell you what i, I hope you can tell i'm wiped out i am beat just struggling to i did all my laundry that was another thing you know a little little camping backpacking tip is wherever you go take advantage of what what you're given um up at bankhead i don't i don't know I, if i'm primitive camping i may or may not have a vaulted toilet i may or may not have water uh so i'm going to be living completely out of the uh, truck certainly i'm not going to have a shower um so i've been i showered twice today in that air-conditioned bathroom i mean that was awesome <laughs> and unexpected but i washed yeah i also washed all the clothes in the sink so now uh we're gonna boy you hear the bugs it's gonna be great because i'm starting fresh you know everything's clean um it's like starting over for the trip uh of course i've used some supplies but not a whole lot um we'll get a picture of the fire later it's going to be huge i'll probably have to back up i i wish it wasn't so warm it's kind of stupid to have a fire when it's 70 80 degrees out here you know but uh that's all right i i bought the wood for five bucks i might as well use it and it's pretty to look at and uh, i'm going to be reading my book again get a few more pages but i ain't going to be awake as late as i was last night i i, I just i bet i fall asleep in this chair and I, that's why you put the bug netting on because if you do fall asleep in your chair which has happened many times <laughs> you're gonna get eaten alive here in florida so if you got the bug netting on at least you won't get eaten until you wake up and go oh man i better get to the tent and, that, and that's another thing while it's still light another camping tip make sure you get all your stuff i mean i got this headlamp you know in the past sometimes it's got dark and i'm going where did i put that stupid headlamp and you can't see anything because you don't have your headlamp and uh, so you're wandering around trying to find so make sure you got your lighting on the table and your your headlamp on and everything's ready to go because once it gets dark that all becomes three times as difficult so but anyway i gotta put these clothes away and uh i'm gonna read for a little while and then uh we'll get the fire so uh, peace I'm hurting man so it's uh, 930 just getting the fire going I was over with the camp host and uh, he didn't want to be taped on the phone but he did finally relate some stories about the park and I love stories so I just thought I'd kind of tell a couple of quick ones uh seems there was this doctor who brought his two kids into the park here and uh 
<laughs> he decided, they told him, they said, if you go out, stay on the trail and wear boots. And uh, so the guy, not only did he ignore staying on the trail, he uh, wore uh, flip-flops or, or just regular, you know, sandals, I guess is what he had on. He had sandals. And so a copperhead bet him on the toe <laughs> and he ran all the way back and left the kids and uh, they had to take him to the hospital. That was one story. And then they had this uh, this bachelor party that came in and stayed in one of the primitive campgrounds, which we didn't find uh, on the trail. But I'm going to I'm going to look for him next time or maybe stay there a couple nights uh, or come back here in a month or two. And uh so the, I guess one guy went, and this has happened to me when people get drunk, you know, the, the guy went crazy with a machete and ended up chopping his leg half, half off with the machete. And so, so they called him up and he had to take the, uh, I don't know if you saw that road in the video, and they had to take the, uh, the four-wheeler up in there and they got a flat tire. And uh, the guy was bleeding out, you know, so they were trying to get him to the, the ambulance to get him, get him to the hospital. It's short story long. The guy actually made it and then went back to the party after a, a day of being in the hospital. I guess they were, you know, here for maybe three or four days or something. Uh, so that was two, two great stories. And then the other one was this guy showed up and I guess uh, he was an alcoholic, you know, so he took his kids out for a hike. And uh, he says, well, here, here comes the kids hiking back into the campground. And they said, we lost daddy. <laughs> they, they had lost their father. He was out in the woods somewhere. And, and they, they had to send out a whole search and rescue uh, team to find this guy. And uh, when they found him, I guess he was stumbling, stumbling drunk. And uh, they brought him back. And uh, I think he got arrested because the, uh, they said the, um, the game warden was here by that time. And uh, so who, who know? I never got the story about what, what happened to the kids, but just three quick stories about what you experienced in places like this. And that's why I couldn't be a camp host and hope you enjoyed the fire. And uh, hey, we'll, we'll see you in the next place when we get there.